Welcome to two examples of solving a linear equation in one variable that require multiple steps to solve. Our first step is going to be to simplify the left side and the right side of the equation as much as possible. So looking at our first equation, we want to eliminate the parentheses on the right side by distributing positive nine. Notice we cannot simplify the left side because these are not like terms. So we have 10x plus six equals nine times x would be nine x, and nine times five is 45, so plus 45. Next, notice how we have variable terms on both sides of the equation, and to solve for x, we need x on one side of the equation. So we can either subtract nine x on both sides, or subtract 10 x on both sides. But because we normally prefer the variable term to be on the left side of a linear equation, let's subtract nine x on both sides. Notice on the right side, nine x minus nine x is zero, so there's no longer an x term on the right side. Looking at the left side, 10 x minus nine x equals one x, or just x, so this simplifies very nicely. So we have x plus six equals 45. Notice how this simplifies to a one-step equation, so to solve for x, we'll now undo this addition by subtracting six on both sides of the equation. This simplifies to zero, leaving us with x on the left, and on the right we have 45 minus six, which is equal to 39. So our solution is x equals 39, which means if we substitute 39 into the original equation, it would satisfy the equation. So let's go ahead and check our solution. On the left side we have 10 x plus six, which would become 10 times 39 plus six, equals on the right we'd have nine times the quantity x plus five, or 39 plus five. So 10 times 39 is 390. On the right side we'd have nine times 39 plus five would be 44. The left side equals 396. And nine times 44 is also equal to 396, which verifies our solution. Now let's take a look at our second example. Again, our first step is to simplify the left side and right side as much as possible. So we'll start by distributing to eliminate the parentheses. So we'll distribute positive six here, and we'll distribute positive two here. So six times five x is 30 x. Six times negative four is negative 24, or minus 24. On the right side, two times four x is equal to eight x. And two times two is equal to four, so plus four. Again, notice how we have variable terms on both sides of the equation. So for the next step, we can either subtract 8x on both sides or subtract 30x on both sides. But again, normally most prefer the variable term on the left side, so we'll subtract 8x on both sides. 30x minus 8x is 22x. So we have 22x minus 24 equals, on the right side, this would be zero, so we just have four. Now we have a basic two-step equation, so to isolate the variable term, we'll undo the subtraction by adding 24 to both sides of the equation. This would be zero, so we have 22x equals four plus 24 equals 28. And now to solve for x, since 22x means 22 times x, to solve for x, we'll divide both sides by positive 22. So this simplifies to x equals 28 divided by 22, but this fraction does simplify. 28 and 22 share a common factor of two. So if we divide the numerator and denominator by two, we can simplify our fraction. We'll have x equals, this would be 14 elevenths, which is our solution. I hope you found these two examples helpful.